What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video Part 17 in the Cyber Dragon um, episodes Right, <laughs> Konami keeps releasing new Cyber Dragon cards Still no Power Bond to like Searcher or new Fusion card But um, Cyber Ref System, definitely an interesting card Again a Monster Reborn, not really sure if you want to maximize this card in your main deck uh, Since it, again it's searchable off of your uh, core Cyber Dragon um, But again I might just put this card at 3 right currently at two in the deck and um, I'm, I'm still holding I'm still holding on on my previous deck list with lefty righty driver tune table of contents brandish brandish definitely it, it the, the the small brandish engine gives you a draw engine a search engine spell and trap card destruction um with uh, in the in the form of your destruction gem right or destruction wave the wave you know popping like a phase down spell searchable again token generator and facil uh, facilitates your um extra deck summons your link upgrades mainly um cyber dragon Zeger. Summon Sorcerers for example, Skeldeed, definitely, so Brandish, definitely main deck option. Then again, looking at Cyber Dragon, the Toon Cyber Dragon, Toon Table of Contents, well, it's debatable, right, with Toon Tables um, adding in more spells in your graveyard, searching a level 5, it can be special summoned to the field, uh, potentially discard fodder for your Galaxy Soldier, so again, mm, well again, debatable, but the deck is at 44 cards. So I'm looking at Lefty Righty Driver, do we still, at least, do I, do I still need to main deck those, right? Right. Again, um, it needs your normal summon. It eats up. It definitely eats up your normal summon, but it again just facilitates needle fiber, um, O line, summon sorcerers, skull deed, skull dread place. So. Again, it does so many things for the deck, but again, with this new Cyber Dragon support, do we need those? Do we really need those? Since other things like Called by the Grave in the main deck are cards that I, I think I, I need to main deck more over something like Lefty Righty Driver. Okay, let's see a couple of example duels. Okay, uh, first of all, and yeah, again, a couple of examples against a couple of different decks, right? Getting to start here, having the engage, right? Again, this is just one of those things, again, as I mentioned in pretty much every video, right? I know a couple of people don't like the, the splash ability of a Brandish or Sky Strikers, right? But again, things go together, especially here, the fact that your Brandish Link monsters are machine types. Like, if you have a Brandish cho a token generator and a normal summon core or Hertz, Man, that's like Zeger and more searches, right? It it's just too good to pass, uh, yeah, to pass on, right? It it again, it just goes well with the deck. Easy Skeldred and leaving Hertz on the field, right? Get a potential search during my opponent's turn here. Also was able to search out at the the new trap card for Cyber Dragons. You know, like banish multiple Cyber Dragons either on your side of the field or from your graveyard. Um, but yeah, of course they need to have like a different level and then destroy an equal amount of like cards from your opponent. Again, good that it's searchable off of core, but again, uh, not really sure if you want to main like multiples of those. It also depends of course, like going first, going second, like going second it's hard, right? You don't really want to have like a trap card going second, same mindset of um, side taking a solemn strike for example. So main decking one I, I think is fine, again search uh, off of your core eventually here normal summon the right yeah again the driver um the driver shenanigans right one card sorceress well it, it does it's it's more than that right again one card sorceress into a token thanks to o-line and special summon hertz from the deck and well then again you can upgrade to skull dread opening up three extra monster zones and let's not forget hertz was able to activate earlier so again it does so many things right but again um the deck is already at 44 cards um and as you will see in a couple of moments, like hand traps is the is the bane to this deck's existence, right? Ash Blossom, um, Ghost Ogre. So main decking called by the grave is definitely something I have to. But again, 44 cards in the main deck is something that you know I, I still have to think about. Anyway, the the setup of Pleiades and Infinity is super super strong um, and. and quite easy again for this deck uh, especially if your opponent doesn't have an interruption and if your opponent has like the interruption or the hand trap you can still definitely make this kind of setup especially thanks to the fact that you know cyber dragon has got a new monster reborn so it definitely facilitates um, or gives you another extender for cyber dragons right 
Um, the opponent got to start. This was a long game, and not really sure. Uh, I will, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll mention it in a couple of moments. Not going to spoil anything. So again, a good start to my opponent. Not really sure if we would have been able to end with Vortex and the level six uh, exceed monster, but um, well, that's definitely a good opening. Right, Vortex negating something, and the Deco Talker potentially negating something that targets so immediately upstart to get a draw and he does negate a core um okay that's 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 fine but again that gives me a cyber dragon in my graveyard and core can potentially be reborn by the you know the cyber dragon reborn card that's searchable so again not really a problem again giving you more options to make machine duplication life here thanks to nova reborn hertz and then use dupli go for mega fleet go for the uh, zeger as well to set it up in my graveyard and i thought well the problem here is is his uh, poison violet magician again negating poison violet magicians this well it's like destroy battle you know you can destroy like an opponent's card and if I would have had infinity well it, it all comes down to the fact that poison magician always would have destroyed my uh, infinity here in this case right so that's why main phase 2 overlaying for an infinity and mm, take the minus get rid of my summon sources but I think I had to you know not give my opponent here the second um, pendulum monster right to call for another Electromite and you know have a post potentially follow up play next turn drawing the hertz definitely was so terrible again i still had rampage on the field to potentially send my last copy of hertz from my deck to the graveyard you know get a search etc etc so definitely a terrible draw here on my part again the poison magician on his behavior again was so so clutch getting rid of my zeger and no option to attack over his big defense monster um the repair plant actually came in clutch again, <laughs> giving me back like one, my, my my only uh, copy of Seeger, normal summon the core, S get something to search, um, well yeah, what was it, Hertz, yeah indeed it was a Hertz, get back core for next turn, have Seeger on the field, definitely solid again. Um, you know, threatening my opponent's uh, relative small beat stick compared to Zeger, but again, his top deck trap card definitely comes in clutch again as well. You know, the the, the fact that he activates um, Insight Magician or Rizma Magician, right, in his pendulum scale is a tell that he has the space time pendulum graph trap. Go for what is it called? Play these to bounce back my uh, my own core. You know, use it for next turn. But he draws a uh, ghost ogre indeed gets rid of my uh, play. It is again a big bummer, right? But um, this is an okay top deck. Engage would have been much better, right? Getting those extra draws. But going for um, the Gagari again, get a surge, get an extra token generator. Um, I, do, I don't think there is any use to use it. Um, if I would have had like the, another Zeger in the extra deck, that would have been very nice. But you know, the fact that I searched the cybernetic overflow, the trap card, the opponent. Um, let's it go so that's all fine I guess but it, maybe you know I would have been able to OTK earlier but again that poison magician poison violet magician was in the way right another example again I got to start again the brandish engine coming in clutch um, you know getting those draws giving me the uh, just one machine monster on the field and with something like core or hatch you can immediately turn it to Seeger and potentially upgrade to something like sun sorceress getting more searches eventually right and um, getting a search out of hertz all those pluses so nice um overload fusion i think i have to you know use it set up my graveyard potentially for next turn go for the first nova reborn something go for the second nova and i think i should be able to yep indeed definitely go for pleiades if you have the the field of cyber dragon infinity and pleiades and in this case the overflow as well that's a little bit overkill right but again you kind of have to definitely going first this again is definitely a problem for cyber dragons going first um, another thing or at least another card that I might want to try main decking is what is it called it's like I forgot its name it's a polymerization that needs um, well you can only use that particular polymerization with monsters on your field but then you know if fusion summon your fusion monsters and then I think you can banish that particular polymerize is it ultra polymerization banish it from the graveyard I think and to special summon the same monsters you just used special summon them back on the field so I think that's definitely okay for some cyber dragons but not really sure about this again if you already have tested this feel free to um, leave some feedback about it last example again the opponent starts off um, I believe is going to end with vortex one negation and two hand traps again something that 
you know, everyone is running hand traps and I think because Cyber Dragon is, a, is somewhat of an OTK based deck, right, especially with their new extender, their new monster reborn, it makes it a little bit more easy to go for the OTK. You, I think you have to main the call by the grave, so I have to find some space for a dead, right. Um, mission duplication again off of core, go for Mega Fleet into Seeger, set it to my graveyard and then go for summon sorcery. I think I had the game here. Um, but he reveals another hand trap, the Ghost Ogre, so that's a problem, but I can recover, definitely I can recover. Go for um, Nova again to special summon Zeger and go for Infinity also, but I can't go for game. Yeah, indeed, no game. Was a couple of life points short, even with the Nova double attack, right? Potentially uh, sacrificing Zeger, since again I had the Zeger. I, I needed Zeger's double, and uh, yeah, it's, it's effect to attack over his vortex, but again, so many options on his part, and yep, eventually him going for Borlo Dragon will seal the deal. Yeah, Borlo Dragon is also something that I definitely want to fit in here in the extra deck, so maybe a second copy of Seager rides, since those cards, you know, you need them, especially now if your opponent is able to get rid of your field to potentially have like a follow-up play. Um, engage, nope, that's not going to cut it and eventually I'm going to scoop it up. So again, very similar list to my previous uh, duels, but again, lefty, righty driver is... Um, I might, I might cut them, right? Maybe thinking about main decking the uh, the polymerization, the ultra polymerization, I believe its name is. Also contemplating on main decking a, a third cyber ref system, the monster reborn. So, but but again, again, all feedback is appreciated. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.